What's up, everyone? I'm Janitor Jake. And I'm Chris K. And welcome to the American Gaming Geeks. Alright, and welcome back for another episode. Now, if you're new to the channel or you want to get right straight to the game, you can go to this number right here, and it'll take you right to the gameplay. Otherwise, we are going to get the show started. And so uh, today, I decided that we're going to try something a little bit different. Mm -hmm. You and I have never actually done this before. No. But um, we're going to do a PC game. Yeah. Oh, a PC, PC game. PC, sort of. <laughs> yeah, so uh, the other day, I was sitting at work, and all of a sudden I go to Google, and I see this thing pop up, one of the little Google doodles. Mm -hmm. And I was like, what is this? It's like gaming stuff. And I was like, oh, they're celebrating the 82nd birthday of uh, Gerald Lawson. I was like, holy smokes, and I remember this because I like old retro stuff like the Atari and stuff like mm -hmm. that, and I'm like, wait a minute, that's the guy who created, he, he has something to do with the um, the Fairchild Channel F. I don't know if he created the actual console or if he was the engineer that created the games, but basically he's like the first person to make actual game cartridges. So I know you had the Magnavox Odyssey, but I think those were more like cards and not actually like swappable car cartridges that kind of became the norm. Mm. So basically, he's like one of the creators or part of the creation of the Fairchild Channel F. Mm. And so I saw that and I clicked on it and it turned out on the Google Doodle, it's like an entire game. I was like, wait, what? So it's a whole game. I was like, oh, man, we got to play this for the American Gaming Geeks. So I never even really played it. I just turned it on, putzed with it, and I was like, oh, man, I don't want to spoil myself. Let's do it for the show. Uh huh. And you didn't really know about it either, did no, you? No, I mean, I saw it on my phone, I and I'm like, well, what is this? I clicked on it to find out what it was about, and it starts playing the game. It's like, I don't want to play. I'm on my phone. I just wanted to see what it was, and it starts playing the game, and I'm at work. I'm like, oh, I, just, I get, turn that off. Yeah. So that's all my experience with it. So apparently you could play it on the phone too. So, yeah, and like I said, we've never done anything like this before. I mean, number one, we haven't even played a PC we've game We've never yet even plugged here. up, yeah, the PC in here yet. And here we are doing, what would this be? H We're used to, I'm used to this being, oh, it's a Flash game. Yeah, but they don't have Flash anymore. It's probably HTML5. Yeah, HTML5 or... Loads of JavaScript. Yeah, whatever, whatever else they do, it's browser based. Yeah, basically. browser based. Like they call like a lot of these things are they're like HTML, HTML five. You can do things that you've never been able to do before. It's like okay, but ninety percent of it is Java. So <laughs> yeah, that's fantastic. So. The thing is, I'm not very familiar with the Fairchild Channel F. Mm -hmm. I don't own the console. I've never even played one. It'd be awesome. Mm. I don't own one, never owned one. It would be awesome to get one. You don't have any experience with no, it either. No, I've never even heard of it. So Sorry. So I guess uh, without further ado, let's pop the puppy in. Well, actually, we can't pop the puppy plug in. Plug the puppy can't in. Do it. So let's plug the puppy in and get going. You ready to play? I'm game. All right, and so here we are with the Gerald's Jerry Lawson's 82nd birthday. Now, unfortunately, he did pass away back in, like, 2011, but it is cool that they're still honoring him, and um, it is pretty neat. Like I said, as a gamer, it's awesome seeing Google actually do, like, a retro gaming thing and talk about something obscure like the Fairchild Channel F. Yeah. Like, okay. Nice. All right, and so you got the controls. You got your little Bluetooth keyboard and your little wireless Bluetooth mouse and your old rusty, crusty gateway mouse pad. Yeah, Look at that thing. Gateway 2000. Yeah, that's, that's legit stuff there. So it shows up inside this. Oh. This is Jerry Lawson. Oh. Press, Press arrow keys, arrow to, keys move. to move. Arrow keys to move. Okay. So before we go fooling around, so yeah, it's, it's, look at that, that's awesome. Okay, only left and right, no up and down. Is there space? I don't even want to, it doesn't say to use space yet. It's crazy because it's like space old. Space is jump. Yeah, so space is jump. That's crazy though, it's like old Nintendo like sound effects, which is kind of cool. Yeah. Jerry got his start building arcade games in his garage for fun. Thank you for fading out. It, it does yeah. it just like other games. It's like, just oh, can I read this now? Just no. like a classic video game. Faded out. Look at that. There's a wrench in the background because he was an engineer. Huh. And then there's some dude getting a pole rammed up his hind end. Look at that. What? Where? <laughs> that's not... That's not a palm tree. That's a dude getting a... Oh, is that what you're saying? You're <laughs> saying the palm tree looks like a guy. <laughs> no. Getting a stick rammed up his patootie. <laughs> his hair flies up in the air when he jumps up and down. Well, that's cool. <laughs> 
so we can collect coins. Collecting rings. He soon became one of the first black engineers to work in... Why did Doug okay. do that? In the industry, Stop. I guess. So press space to jump. Look at that. So those are creatures down there. In 1976, Jerry led the team that developed the revolutionary first video game cartridge. So he led the team that developed the first video game cartridge. Awesome. You can't hit down to look down, unfortunately. It's just it is what and it is. And you can't go through that wall where the bugs are either, right? Or whatever. No. Look at the animation too when he runs. And when he jumps, he kicks his little legs. Yeah. <laughs> got a key. And he got, got a key. Uh, unlocked Chip's the challenge door. now. Jerry's work unlocked a whole new way for everyone to play and make video games. Including you! Tap the pencil to enter edit mode. So yeah, this is where you use the mouse. Edit mode? So yeah, so this is crazy. This is where we get to edit and have some fun. What? Select the block from the toolbar. And now draw in the missing blocks. And you just click. Tap play to test your changes. So you can hit play. And then you can go and you can hit like space. And then yeah, jump on the blocks and stuff like that. You did it! You did it! Now you're good ready to job. build your own games, just good like Jerry. You I'm did a game job. developer now. Thanks. Did I get a star? Yeah. Grab the mouse and you go over to go over to the far left. Far far left. And there's this like one? a gear icon. Oh, there. Maybe like options. Can we get to the Settings. options? So what's the options? Tutorial. tutorial. So we can play the tutorial again. Yeah. Game, game controls. Control. About, about Jerry, Jerry Lawson. Lawson. I want to try. Is that the tutorial that we just did? We can, I don't. Yeah, we can try. Click I want to try on something. It. Yeah, it looks like. Oh yeah. Okay, this is the beginning. Let me. Now yeah. I wanted to try something. You go ahead. What? Yeah, because I was thinking it'd be awesome. Like you were saying, try something. I like the idea of like, what if we get here instead of building the blocks and leaving? Mm -hmm. and they're like, oh, game's done. Move on. You build blocks the other way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I was <laughs> thinking. Like, is there a little Easter egg? Because look at the background. Yeah. It's like there's computer yeah, engineering right. kind of stuff. All this stuff all over the place. Looks like a radio at one point, too, but... Like, what's that thing in the background? Pencil? Oh, it's a pencil. Oh, so, so this is a thing. So I wonder... This is almost like a spoiler. I wonder if we can zoom yeah. out so much that they're like, yeah, look, at there's nothing. Yeah. What if you fall down? Can you die? I don't know. Delete those blocks and jump <laughs> off the edge. Yeah. So zoom back in. I'll just leave it. I'll just leave it. It's fine. You can erase them, I think, by right-clicking on them. Oh, okay. Well, I'm still going to just leave them. So what happens if we fall down? Oh, it just sends you back. Oh, that's kind of cool, though. It's like... Try again, turkey. Try again, says. turkey. Reach the goal flag to win. Oh, you can, oh. you can get up in there with them. If you can jump into there. There we go. <laughs> what does it do? There's no, like, attack button or nothing. Holy oh, cow, that, like, glitched me. out and it brought you back. Yeah, it kills you. Was there an expression that he made? I think so. Let me try that again. It happened so fast, like, he touched it and was it like, was like, he was like, ah! He's, he's just like, ah! Looks like he's opening his mouth when he runs. He's like, blah, 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 blah. I think his mustache bouncing. I don't know. His eyes are his bouncing. His eyes are bouncing, too. This reminds me of Terraria. Yeah. We're playing Terraria now. Yeah. What does this song remind me of? So as long as you keep doing it, it'll, yeah. it'll let you keep playing. Huh. So I'm assuming, yeah, we can just do this forever. Yeah, it looks like it. As long as there's something to fall onto. Yeah, if there's nothing for him to land on. He actually looks like Jerry only from The Misfits. Huh. He's got like that chunk of hair coming down in front of his forehead. Can you zoom out all the way? Is there like some weird little Easter egg that we're just missing? Like, like you can keep scrolling down and up, but that's as far. That's what I'm wondering. Like, did they stick something like all the way out? Like to way another into the, like. Don't think so. Like, if they did, it's probably <laughs> like, oh, if you go for like nine hours straight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm always curious about like wh how they program things into it. So I'm gonna try it this way first. Yeah, it looks like you can get past that flag as long as you don't touch the flag. Share? Up there. Oh, there's share. Um, that's... Oh, what? What did that do? Click on it again. Copies. So whatever your game you're on... Oh. Hm. It copies it. All right, so yeah, we can click on the first one and... Yeah. I mean, not that that one. Oh, Give is me this that a different thing. one? Give me that thing. <laughs> oh, I want to play. All right. I want to play. Here, you're being selfish and you're hogging it all I now. Know. Holy smoke. Oh, it's like... Um, Break all the blocks to win. I can't move. There we go. It's like bricks. 
So that's kind of cool. Yeah, it's like um, Arkanoid on the NES or... um. I don't know if the Fairchild Channel F actually had a game like this, hmm. but it reminds me of um, Breakout and Super Breakout on the Atari 2600. Ah. Uh. Hate when oh, it does no, that. Oh, no, you lost. Try again, Toiki. You turkey. And it's like I accidentally clicked off and it, like, reset the whole screen. So you can pause the game. Yeah. Yeah. Do-do-do-do. It's crazy. You Continue weren't able to, to pause on the Fairchild. Huh. What What happened there? Did you... Oh, did it glitch out? Weird. Oh, maybe... Did it, you click home? So I think I beat it. Oh. So I got them all, and then... Oh, it says zero, yeah. But I went to click because I couldn't move anymore, I thought, and then I accidentally, like, clicked the thing, so... Oh, yeah. So that's the game, and so this is as far out as we can zoom in, so that's the game that they have. Yeah. So... Are you controlling him, too? <laughs> <laughs> Just put Which, all these. That's Jerry weird. Lawson's everywhere. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna hit play. <laughs> oh Holy my God. God. <laughs> they, all, they keep respawning too, <laughs> while bouncing the ball off their heads. That almost knocked him off. This is you can, amazing. You can use the ball to knock him off the paddle. Really? <laughs> Amazing. And you can catch them. Oh, I wonder if I can keep Just stacking, stacking them. them. <laughs> Get a Jerry Lawson stack. <laughs> oh my gosh. And then just catch the ball. Oh, the ball's gone now. Wait, it's back. It doesn't reset anymore when the ball's gone. <laughs> <laughs> they just keep respawning. Just a giant stack of Jerry Lawson's everywhere. <laughs> Oh man, I wonder if we can lag this game out. <laughs> How many Jerry Lawsons can we have? And I'm gonna put different ones in here too. It's funny, we went straight to editing the games. We <laughs> haven't even done the rest of the games yet. Alright, I'm gonna try this and see what happens. Oh, they just keep respawning. They keep getting destroyed and respawn. The ones that are facing forward, you can run a. You're not just going left to right, you like have up open and down, world. Right? You can yeah. go up and down that's and... That's what I was thinking, like Final Fantasy style. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. Anyway. Yeah, we'll see what happens here. Alright, now you can just... Holy oh, cow. what? Why are they separating? Is it the ball? I don't know where they... Where oh, they the... disappeared to, that's weird. Yeah, they're all separating, but... I was hoping they would walk as a, as a yeah, team. Yeah, like unison, but... They're all kind of splitting up. Oh, so oh, the ball is pushing them, them down. Oh, so yeah, you can separate them all. Oh, and the bugs are killing them too. Oh, they respawn. Okay. So just yeah, use them so, to bounce the ball. So yeah, it looks like there you can bounce it off their head. There we go. Now as long <laughs> as they're not walking, they won't split up. As long as they're not walking when when the ball. <laughs> you got a Jerry Lawson. <laughs> Change the dynamics of the game now. Oh, oh. All right, so that was like the breakout thing. So I'm gonna hand this off to you, and you can yeah. go to the next one. We destroyed that game. Look at the the design for it changed. Now it's got a Jerry Lawson up there <laughs> with the little worm thing. Well, that's crazy. All right. So you can actually change like the way that looks. Yeah. By, depending on what you stuck in that, there. That the little icon reflects the actual layout of the game. All right. So what's this one? Let's just play it first. Oh. Reach the reach the goal flag to win. Look at that skull. Yeah. Movable blocks. My companion cube. <laughs> exactly. They should have put a hard direction cube, so I'm assuming you push those up or down. Yeah, but I don't know how to push it down. Oh, wait. No. Oh, so this is like some sort of a puzzle game. Yeah, I don't know how to get up from underneath it. That's the thing. See, I'm assuming you push that and then just push down with it before you die. Oh, yeah, that's how you die. Music's kind of cool, too. Reminds me of Rock Boshers a little oh, bit. Oh, no. Oh, no. So now I might have screwed myself here. I wonder if it's going to reset with him in there. Yeah, I might have to you reset are. the game. So you go oh, down and instantly push down. I got it. Oh, so it's like a speed run thing. Yeah, you got to speed run this thing. You got to get there before he does. Go, 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 go. 
oh, it's like a teleporter. Teleports. All right. And look at that. You get a floppy disk. Yeah. Looks like the Google logo, but it's blue. Yeah. It's yeah. interesting. Floppy disk. Saved. Oops. I went too early. That was not going as fast See, as See, that's the thing. I don't know much about older computers, but I'm assuming that's something from, like, an older computer. Like email or something? Because it's, like, it's in the shape, of, and there's an exclamation point going up and down. Yeah, maybe it's a new email thing. What are oh, those? I don't know. Those are packets. <laughs> I don't know. Ugh, really? Am I that close to it? Ah, this little squid thing. There we go. So this is cool. It's kind of like set up like a castle or a dungeon. Mm, it's kinda, I see. So I got to put the blow. It's like a castle or yeah. a dungeon. We're deep in the dungeon now. It's a big puzzle. Deep in the dungeon of Jerry Lawson. <laughs> oh, no. I got the... I didn't pay <clears throat> attention to that direction. All right. So, yeah. So those shoot out like a, a pattern. Oh, that just opens that up. And you can go into... Yeah. Well, what was above that thing now? Can you go oh, back? Yeah. I didn't see anything there. I was up there already. Yeah. That's oh. where I got the block from. All right. So. so there's nothing up there. Why didn't you tell me that? Why do you get a whole... <laughs> keep secrets from me for... I know. Oh, look at all the money. Whoa, money, money, money. Oh, bad guys. Oh, now we're doing... Uh-oh. Oh, no. What have I done? So, yeah, this They're is gonna come right for me. Yeah, so this is definitely like a speed runny kind of game. <sighs> now, now they're right in front. There's nowhere to go. Yeah, I think you have to die so then it resets. Now you can speed run through oh, it. Oh, and now I'm already here because I keep... All right. Yeah, it's awesome. It's like... Yeah, it's like Pac-Man. Yeah, it kind of reminds me, too, of, like, um, Super Mario Brothers when you... Oh, you're, like, invincible. Oh, oh kill them. Oh, it's em. a cherry. Kill them all. <laughs> kill them all. Mm -hmm. Take it. Oh, gosh. Well, well, at least the enemies stay dead. Yeah, that's awesome. So it's like Resident Evil. When you actually kill them, they stay gone. Yeah. So that's awesome. Sound effects are kind of weird. I wonder if they programmed it like that on purpose, where it's... You touch the first one and you hear it. But you don't hear them after a while. Because oh. it might have been annoying. The ding, 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 and just chaos. I think there's like, it waits till that sound effect ends before yeah, it starts before over doing again. The second one. All right, teleported me up here. Yeah, this is like an adventure game. This is kind of, oh, that's locked. It's locked, so I gotta find a key. I'm assuming that's gonna kill you if you touch it. Hmm. Block doesn't do anything. Apparently, I don't know what I need that yeah, for. Yeah, you're gonna need that probably to. Hmm. I was thinking you might need it to, to like, block an enemy or yeah, something. Yeah, block something so you can grab the key, but... I want to see if I don't... Oh! Jeepers. So I got the key already. Maybe it's just a random door. Yeah, now you can go and unlock that. Looks like a briefcase. Oh, maybe I need it here. Oh, yeah, you're going to need Oh, the... there's one up there. Hmm. But... Yeah, the other one you must not need then. I'm just going to explore here. You don't want to push that too far up, then you won't be able to push back down. Yeah, then I'll be lost. So you need to push that all the way down to... Oh, oh I see what you're saying now. You need to, like, get up, push that back out, and push that all the way down to the floor. That sounded like a rap, man. <clears throat> Gotta get up, push back, get back, push that all the way down to the floor. There we go. Now I gotta wait for... So go back, so now we're gonna go into the Google... Oh, all right. The Google CERN portal. Yeah, the Google CERN portal. I'm getting some chill hop vibes from this music. And the blues and purples. See, and that's what's crazy, too. It's like Google, and it's in that shape, and it's like CERN, and it's like, what do they have it as? It's No, it's a it's a portal now. <laughs> They're all like... Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> yeah, it's the portal. Oh, jeez. They're talking, though. Yeah. Oh, we don't like your game, Jerry Lawson. We're not going to recognize you as a relative gamer. <laughs> Ugh, the anti, anti Jerry Lawson demons. Ugh, how do I get past him? Do I have to push that block? Is it's it too lagging? late now. Yeah, it lagged out a little bit. Yeah. Oh, that's what I do. Oh, okay. There's one at the bottom. So now it's memorization time. Just, just don't be afraid of it. You don't be afraid of it. What? He didn't reset. Ugh. Now that was perfectly fine before. It's almost in like a different position. Yeah, you might be moving too quickly to the right, so go past him. So like here, and then just push straight down. 
and then get ready to go to the right here soon now it's like right before you see the second one you have to move to the right I don't know, before he was just like hovering in the middle of the eye see he's not there anymore hmm. like i thought it was memorization but he kept showing up in different spots now Ugh, got stuck Great, it saves them right there. Oh, so you did save Every it. Every time you go over it, it saves it. Oh, if I hit him, though, he, he resets too. I'm not the only one who dies when they get hit. They don't reset until you hit them. Hmm. So that's almost like a game mechanic. Oh, now they can't get through because they're, they're like jammed in the doorway. They jammed themselves up. It's crazy. It's crazy, yeah. So they're stuck. But I can't get through it. Yeah, don't, now if so. you... Oh, so you were able to hit both of them. So that's not... I was thinking, man, you're not going to be... I was like, you're going to hit one of them, and the other one's going to be stuck there. It's like the only way through would be to, like, push a block or something all the way up through there. That's not possible. Yeah, yeah, like I said, the only thing I can think of is a massive speed run. Like, as soon as that one comes down, go all the way up, hit the wall, and just take off and try to circle through. It's like, all right, like this... That gets here old real quick it's like just i wish they would have just reset back to normal yeah it's like we well, could edit it's like no like maybe we should but it's like that's the thing it's like it's supposed to like we're I don't supposed wanna, to play the game yeah. as it was meant to be at least first yeah the, the look of this game reminds me of a zelda 2 hmm. the adventure of link on the uh, nintendo huh the original NES. Yeah. There, at least now you have it saved here, so he's reset. Yeah, it's, he, yeah, you can't get the money. You win. I win. I got you to win. home. I got home. Play more games or edit. So just go to. Oh jeez, just lost my mouse. Nice. Just knock it in the floor. It's fine. You want to play it from the PC? Knock over your soda with the big, thick HDMI cable. Thick. Thick and creamy. Just like an HDMI cable is supposed to be. Oh no, I gotta plug my computer in. You want more ca more cords? Oh. Yeah, I think that Sega Power Strip popped because I don't have... The Nintendo's not turning on and... Oh. The headphone amp is off too now. Oh. All right, so yeah, so I was gonna have you go into edit mode. So here's edit mode, but oh, it's like no. there's really nothing. We, I mean, we could spend absolutely forever editing this whole. But thing, it's like, yeah. what would we really do? Too, it's like yeah, just I mean, add a bunch of Jerry Lawsons in here, and then just it's like, well, yeah, <laughs> it's ridiculous. Here's a way we could win. All right, safety in numbers, everyone. Exactly. Whee! <laughs> Which one are we controlling? Holy smoke, we're all like we're stuck. stuck. Wait, go back up and oh. Oh, that's what, so I'm doing this blind basically, but holy cow. Yeah, because you're also controlling the one in front too. Oh, I'm stuck now. Uh oh. Because I'm I'm controlling the well, one you can in move the front. Up. I can't. You I'm can't? controlling the one in front. Only that one? Which is now stuck on the bottom. That's fine, don't believe me. They can jump! Since when can they jump? I didn't know that. That's what I was wondering if you said something like you can jump and we can both control it now. Yeah. Yeah, we can both control it because I got my Bluetooth keyboard plugged in. It's crazy. Yeah, zooming in, I realized what it is. And what is that? Did you put that there in the left? That. That thing? Yeah. It's a random block. Just a brick. I don't know what that is. We never stuck that in there. Huh. Weird. So that's what I'm talking about. Like, I wonder if anyone stuck something in here. So maybe the developers, like, messed up and accidentally put those blocks there and forgot to delete them. Yeah, that could be. There. <laughs> this is what I want to do. Is there anything down here? Uh, like, for touching the blocks, but it doesn't jump seem off. like it. Can you jump off? Whee! Oh, it just falls. It's crazy. Oh, you know what? You added Jerry Lawson with gravity. Instead of Jerry Lawson top-down view. That's why he's acting like there's gravity. Oh! What if we redo this whole game, but with gravity instead? 
Oh, That's why we could this. jump because one of them ha that you added had could jump because there was gravity. I couldn't jump before. Oh, so when I added that one, we were like, wait, wait a minute, why is he able to jump? Yeah. Now I don't even have to push this. It's gravity doing that. <laughs> I don't even know. Oh. Well, that was weird. I killed him by jumping over on his head. So by switching the characters, yeah, you can actually kill these things now. Yeah. If you jump on their heads, you can kill them. Yeah. That's awesome. What are those exclamation points, I wonder? Yeah, we'll have to edit and maybe touch them. Look at that. Huh. So you can wait for them to come and you can jump and kill them. Ah. So we could kill all the enemies in this game. In theory, I mean, I don't know. I can't jump high enough for some, for all of them. But the thing is, I can't get out of here unless unless an enemy attacks me. That's awesome. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> That's oh no. Oh, now we're stuck. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, this is like that one episode, of, that one level in Sonic. But that's right. still, like I said, it's interesting Interesting that they they enabled you to actually kill the bad guys. Yeah. Yeah, that is cool. What's this one now? Looks like a fish tank. It does. It's Collect tank. all the coins to win. Hmm. It's like an anime character. And it's weird. It's like she jumps up and then like her dress flies up in the air. She's coming back down. Yeah. It's a parachute dress. What was that? A key. Do -do 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 -do. Nice sound. I don't know what the purpose of that thing is. Oh, it's opening something up there. Oh, it's like one of those block challenges. You gotta put a block on it to uh, unlock, unlock a gate later. A mushroom. <laughs> it's the Mushroom Kingdom. So now we got a mushroom straight up from the Mushroom Kingdom. Can you... Oh, oh it bounce. bounces you. Yeah. The butterfly is moving those arrows back and Oh, forth. I'm moving the arrows. Oh, you are. I wonder if I... Oh, you can't crush the butterfly, oh, though. Oh, so while she's on the, the thing... <laughs> Okay, so you gotta... Oh, that poor butterfly. Oh, the butterfly can move it. Oh, it moves with you anyway, regardless. You so now this is kind of like... Ex exploration now. Yeah. Is that a bee? Yeah, or a dragonfly or something. Can I kill it by... Use the glide button, huh? Press the C button to glide. Okay. There's like a little bit of a delay. Yeah. Oh. Cause it's like I'm trying to do like old school video game logic and hit it like the perfect moment and she mm. keeps like Maybe Maybe if you look at the screen at the uh, computer screen. I don't know. So I am able to actually kill huh. Okay, so there might be a part where you have to come back here to make sure you open the right doors for that butterfly Yeah, that's what I'm thinking now. It's like almost like open world kind of You know what this reminds me of kid clown, huh? Really? It has a how am I supposed to do this now? The cartoon animation style is, yeah, kind of kid clown like. Oh, does oh, he just bounce on it long enough? Huh. Well, what was the point of going over this way? Just to kill the bees and be lost? Yeah, basically. Oh, there's the f save flag. Oh, good, good. So yeah. those Burp. things down there, I'm assuming, kill you. Yeah. Oh, there's two keys right there. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, 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 Are you dead now? Are you are you screwed? You need those enemies there. Look at this. Oh, okay. Okay, you got a Castlevania jump. Yeah, like I said, it's weird because there is a, like a slight bit of a delay. Mm. So I'm like, oh, I'm on the edge, jump, and then she just walks off. Something's oh, shooting at me. Yeah, there's that thing. Like a snail Holy thing. Holy smoke, this is like a huge stage thing because you can... Oh, never mind. It only goes There's up to the There's a key over there to the right. Well, at least I killed it. It was a bee. Oh, yeah. Good. Pesky bee. It's like a snail thing. Shoots out pink hot dogs. <laughs> the words you never think you'll say in your life. Hmm. It's almost like you need a block to stick in there. Oh, it does every single flower open up all of them? Yeah, it does. It unlocks every single one of them. What if there's a spot where you need to let the butterfly into so that it, the butterfly is trapped on one of those flowers? I Maybe I'm overthinking it. Yeah, that's right. Well, that's the thing now. It's like a, now I'm kind of stuck. There's nothing down here. Yeah. It's like I don't want to backtrack and go all the way back to the beginning. I think you might have to. Like I said, open world. Huh? <laughs> 
What? Oh, so some of them are constantly open when they're not when you're not on the floor, and some of them are constantly locked. Yeah. So I don't know. Apparently, you got to go all the way back to the beginning. See, there's a key right there. Yeah, there's a butterfly now. Oh, the butterfly got the key. The butterfly. We're supposed to direct the butterfly through the whole maze. How much you want to bet? Yeah. Now where where did he disappear to? He just went down. He'll probably be back. Oh, that's weird. How to get through there? Oh, because we landed on a flower. All right, he'll so bounce back up again. So now we gotta wait for him again. to bounce back up. Holy smoke! I didn't even notice that. This is genius. Oh, so now. Okay, wait. So do that, and then move the paddle right. There we go. <laughs> this is genius. I've never seen a game like this. Yeah, before. this is crazy. It's like almost like an escort mission, but it's like, yeah, come on. And you can kind of block the butterfly because it's going up and down. So you got to move that thing underneath the butterfly. So if you sit on that flower, you won't move left and right with the paddle. Or if you sit between two blocks, you can control the paddle without moving yourself. There we go. You just push it forward then. There we go. Now it's in there. Okay. I want to make sure it tries coming back down. So, come on and get back up here. Quit screwing around. The butterfly acts like a ball. Yeah, it's like a ball. So what I want it to do is... I don't want to trap it in there. I want to do the opposite. Yeah, there that. we go. Oh, because of the angle of the paddle. Changes the angle of the butterfly's movements. That's crazy. Now I want to get him down here and then get in there. And that'll get him out of there. Good. Shoot. Darn it. Now I don't know where it went. Wait, wait for it to come back down. Oh. That's what I mean. That's why I'm having such a heck of a time. Because I keep opening and closing these things, and it keeps going backwards. And it, the stupid butterfly keeps working his way back. Yeah, that's tough. So here, I want this to go over, and I want that to stay there so he won't go back down. Yeah. So now I need to come over here and unlock that. But you need to control the paddle. Now he's trapped in there. Now what I need to do is get him to come out that door. But as soon as I touch that flower, it opens all the doors. Yeah. So then he can easily, like, get... Now get out of there. There we go. Now he's trapped there. Now don't touch the other flower. Just keep going. But I have to touch the flower to move those stupid blocks that are over the star. Awesome. This is so hard to explain. Yeah. Whenever you move, the paddle moves. Yeah. So I'm trying to watch the butterfly, but uh -huh. I'm trying to watch where the paddle's at. Uh -huh. I'm also trying to watch where I'm at. So I accidentally touch this, and it opens a door, and yeah. off goes the butterfly. It's distracting. Meanwhile, I'm trying to do this because those blocks move up. There we go. Oh. That's what I'm saying. The blocks move up when you do that. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. So I'm I trying see. to touch this without having the paddle Careful move. With the butterfly. I move. Flip the the butterfly. butterfly starts going out the door, and yeah. this paddle starts moving. Well, what if you don't do the butter? Don't touch the the paddle. Don't touch the, the, the whatever the pedals there. You just stick yourself right there. Now you can sit there in between those blocks and control <clears> the paddle <throat> instead of the, uh, touching the flower. And so now I do this. Okay, there now get, now out, get of out of there. All right. And then I moved, and then it kicked the paddle over. Yeah, now you can move the paddle back. There you go. Okay. Now oh, what is that? I don't know. It's like, oh, hurry up. It's like... <laughs> I don't know. Invincibility <laughs> didn't seem to do much. Yeah, now that flower's a hazard. Because, like, you don't want to touch it, but... Dang, how do you move the paddle? You almost have to jump down to the flower to move the paddle. And risk the butterfly. Well, the butterfly can only go back there so far go. because of those blocks. There we go. That might works. Maybe I can... There we go. Oh, it, it has to open the door for you. Whoa. That's crazy. You have to get those last few coins there. Are you invincible now, I too? I think so. Oh, these are just butterflies. I thought these were hazards. Oh, yeah. These are just butterflies <laughs> Butterflies everywhere. all over. Okay, so you released the butterfly into its own little habitat. You win. You, you collected win? all the coins. Huh. That was insane. That was crazy. That was pretty genius. I've never seen a game quite like that.
Yeah, I didn't expect that. I didn't think like, oh, get the butterfly. I was like, oh, here's a cute little platform and go bouncing around. But it's like, holy smoke, you actually have to control the butterfly. Yeah. It's like, holy cow. That was crazy. There's this big open world thing on the right side. You just fall out. It's crazy. Play. Play. Oh. Top down or no. Okay, this is a left right jump. So it's like you're playing some kitten now. Some weird anime kitten. Yeah. Can I you wonder, die in the fire? I don't know. Let's find out. Can kittens die in the <laughs> fire? It's dark. I wonder if, like, these games were designed specifically for this day, or did someone just design a bunch of games, and then they just, like, what's a game developer we can, like, use as an excuse? <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure. I guess those are just random spring platforms. Penguin. Can you jump on its head? Oh, yeah, it's a hazard, all right. There's like ice and I don't know. I thought that was frosting, but it looks like thing. ice and fire here. It's like an ice cream thing floating around. Yeah, I think that I have to collect those. Am I am I collecting ice cream? Is that what that is? Reach the goal flag to win. Oh, oh, you can push him down. Oh, he doesn't go down. I don't want to do that though. I want to jump on his head. Ah, well, at least I trap myself. No, oh, I can get out. It's like a one way. Th one way road here. And that. he won't fall down there, so you can trap him back there and then try to jump on his head. Yeah, I could just do that. Oh, he's so cute, though. Yeah, you can kill him. So that's Dead. awesome. Kill the penguin, jump on his head. Unlike it Mario, who has to throw him off the side of a cliff. <laughs> wow. If a cute shoot him up is a cute him up, is a cute platformer a cute former? Why do you gotta be cringe for? <laughs> Why do you gotta be cringe for? <laughs> oh, and you can break those blocks. Those are breakaways. Fine, don't listen to me. I am listening to you. <laughs> Do I have to jump on this one before that one? I don't know. It probably doesn't make a difference. Not doesn't. Make a difference. Oh, you got that weird invincibility thing. Oh, that's good. Good thing I have the invincibility thing for that. Like classic video games, always gives you invincibility when you least need it. Yeah, it's like Sonic the Hedgehog when you get yeah. the. The sparkly invincibility thing. It's like, oh, you got one? Guess what? No enemies around at all. I don't see how to get up there. Oh, I died in the fire. Reached a gold flag. Yeah, so you just have to find the flag at the end to win, but it's like, now how do we get over there? I don't see. I can't get up there unless I can fly What if you jump over the fire and push the, against that number one? Yeah. Like, what? what is that? Is that a door thing you had to collect? That's going to be tough trying to... I can't jump yeah, over that Yeah, I don't think you'd be able to jump thing. over the fire. There's a ghost. Yeah, there's, that's what I I'm saying. See. It's like some weird ice cream thing down there floating around. Huh. I'm wondering if I can time it right. If that would work. It's like, the thing is, it's like a one hit, one kill. I can't Sonic the Hedgehog over this one. I can't even jump over it. No, it's not happening. It's not happening. The only other thing I can think of is hit reset. Yeah. Maybe there was another method that I should have... Because I don't know what that spoon thing does. I think it's just a save, a checkpoint. So oh, my checkpoints so are save. spoons. Oh, it's like, am I supposed to put something there? It looks like it's like an outline. Like, oh, you got to finish it. I don't know why those are there. I don't know what the number one thing is. I can't get to it. Maybe, maybe you really can get to it. <sighs> no, it's just nice and just not happening. Even on the way down, yeah, it he just jumps gets really fire. Here's the only other thing I could think of. You jump way back here. Yeah. Try to, but he jumps so high. Yeah, so it's is like there a way no... to slip in there or what? Because otherwise, like, we could spend two hours doing this. Yeah, true. Now, I wonder what this game would have been like if I would tried to play it on the phone, though. Because it did not quite look like this hmm. on the phone. Yeah. Okay. And play. What is that? It's a key. It's a donut key. I didn't even notice that last yeah, time. Yeah, so grab that. I think I just trapped myself. That's what's so weird with these games. It's like it was designed to, like, you can screw yourself. Yeah. And then you have to, like, redo the whole thing. Most games, they've been debugged. So it's like, it's like, well, if you end up in this situation, you can screw yourself. So then they end up putting a little, um, I don't know, thing in here to help you out. But try to make sure that it doesn't interfere with the rest of the gameplay. Yeah, you're stuck now, so we gotta, like, reset the whole thing. I guess so. 
I don't know. I feel like no, I'm not gonna try messing with you, that block anymore. Oh my gosh! What? You need the invincibility star to run through the fire. Oh! Why do you gotta be stupid for? <laughs> like you knew. I did. That's why I said it. <laughs> it's like yeah, invincibility and nothing around. It's like okay. There we go. Ha! <laughs> All right. So now you got to go over there to the right. Oh, yeah, I guess so. I was going to move that block, which I did, and I think I caused problems. It teleported and it. It teleported that thing. Okay. It's like strawberry cake. Holy cows, you can bust all that. Oh, this is... <gasps> I'm the ball now. So there's number two. I guess we can go to number two. That is nice that you can keep, like, punching it up, though. Yeah. Yeah, so we'll go into warp number two. <laughs> Holy smoke. Now it's going to do that. There we go. Have, depends which way you go in. I guess finding all these oh, things are not number a part. Three. And there's number four, so now we got to figure... And there's like an evil cupcake. Yeah. So you got to bounce on that I got spring. a star there. It's almost like, what do I got to collect the star and go all the way around and get the evil cupcake? Oh. No, that's what it's for. That's what the star is for. So, yeah, might as well head up there and see if we can somehow get close to the star. So I don't think you'll be able to jump that. That's too high of a jump. You jump on the cupcake, kill him. I don't have the, the key. That's just a tricky jump. Yeah. There we go. Now you need to rush and grab that star. He, uh, yeah, now it's probably not going to come out. So you can try going in there. So he's already bounced. Oh, so he's just flying around anyway. Yeah. So I guess the star was maybe a weird safety thing. Yeah, just in case kind of a thing. Oh. Holy cow. There's like penguins all this everywhere, stuff yellow penguins. Everywhere. What do these do? I so don't now know. So now it's just an arrow telling you where to go. So now you okay. need that star and you need, you need to get that key to unlock that one door. Got it. So now there should be another key somewhere. I'm not sure which one. There's another key? I already got... Oh. But now that that's locked, so we need to find another key. So that would be nice to be There's able to... There's another start. lock there. These, ga these games are getting longer. So we need to see if there's another door that we opened over to the right. Oh, oh this thing turns those minuses into pluses and the downs into ups. I don't know why. So it's like you need a block to sit on that thing or something? Hmm. I don't know. Let me see what's down here. That's what I was thinking. There's a key in ah. one of these. So now you got to go to that one and get that key. Chip's challenge here. Jeepers. Oh, no. So you need to jump and then go. That's weird. Oh. It worked. Crazy. Huh. So that was that. Jeepers. To replay the whole thing. No. Play more games. Yep. So it looks like we got one more, one more here. Level. This is like Mario Brothers. Yeah. Oh, his hair's so much nicer now. Look at that. I was expecting the blocks to like fall from fall out from under me. Huh. Yeah, that's crazy. Like all the insects and everything that they're. It's the same thing, but a different design. A new. A new era design. Everything has eyes, just like Mario. Everything's got a face. There's even fire over there with. Yeah, with eyes. The flag has eyes. Oh, That's man. awesome looking. <laughs> it's like evil fire. <laughs> like, what is that thing? It's like some weird bug. I think it's supposed to be another dragonfly thing, but different design. supposed to be all cutesy. Huh. Oh, you can you push it onto that thing on the left right next to that dragonfly? There we go. That looks like there's a key to unlock the little... Looks like there's a key to unlock all the little piggies flying around. Piggies? Those things? Yeah, I don't know what. But I got the key in it, didn't it? Yeah, maybe you gotta let those things out. Haha. <laughs> You, you win. won. You died, but you won. That's crazy. It looked like there was much more to go, too, but... Yeah, there did look like a lot more to that level. 
I just want to see what else was up there then. Um, so that's all that. So that's all that does. So there's more stuff, but it's like. Yeah, so you can get oh, up there. There's another and get flag, that flag up there too. Oh, I wonder if that's another way out. There must be another way out. Cool. But. Pretty intense. You make it so you can make your own games. Now. So that's really crazy. Yeah. Now does this design. Like, every level had its own design, so how... Oh, here we go. That's how you pick the design. Default 16-bit butterflies and ice cream and spooky. Now, does that set the entire world design? Oh, that's or crazy. Or can you change it for each item you drop down? I can think you... it might set the world design. Put so the, now... Drop a flame there. Or something. Drop something. Yeah, so I can put fire... Oh, fire is exclamation points. Okay. And that spooky design. And then... And then these should be skulls. Okay. And then this... Are those weird eye things. Huh. Oh, thing eye. And then these should be the other... Uh, oh, oh, that's the email that's thing. So yeah, you can change the whole world design on here. Yeah, it changes everything all at once. There's creatures in there that they didn't use in the game either. Huh. Cool. Right, yeah, that's pretty crazy. So this was what was this? The Jerry Gerald Lawson, 82nd birthday, Doodle game from Google. Yeah, G Gerald Jerry Lawson's 82nd birthday Google Doodle game. <laughs> that's not a short, long title at all. That's not a long title at all. All right, so there you have it. That was a uh, Gerald Jerry Lawson's 82nd birthday Google Doodle game. Yeah. I guess that's what we would call it. <laughs> so what do you think of it? That was entertaining. Yeah, that was entertaining. I think I would like to mess with like the different game designs and stuff like that. I could probably do that for an hour or two. Yeah, that was one thing about this game that I thought was interesting. I'm like, oh, that's cool. Number one, it's a Google Doodle thing. I didn't even know you could do that gaming stuff. Yeah. But um, So we click on it. It's like, oh, that's cute. You can do the tutorial. Oh, here's a game. Here's a game. And I thought they were going to be nice, short, simple to the point. Yeah. But then we start getting farther, and it's like, oh, here you go. Just super long games, and it's like, dude, holy smoke. Yeah, it's crazy. And so, um... All the things you can possibly do in here. And what if you just go into each level? You can completely change the layouts. Yeah, that was one thing that was awesome that I liked about the game is, yeah, you can go through here. I mean, number one, not only do they have the games that you can play, but they're like, oh, you can edit them. Yeah. So you can go through and play and then edit and then actually make your own game. Yeah, that's ingenious. But, like, um, the game designs that they had in there were really awesome. Like, helping the butterfly through to help you out, that's... I'd never seen that Yeah, that was a pretty crazy cool. gameplay mechanic. Like, I wasn't expecting that. Can you imagine if they did that with, like, Sonic 3 with, like, Tails and stuff like that? And Tails comes in, you can, like, do things on two different sides of the map, and you gotta help each other through. They never did it. No one thought of anything like that. Yeah, that would've been pretty crazy. But yeah, like I was saying, uh, the game, like I said, it's awesome playing something like this because not only do you get to play the game, but you can actually edit it, and then you can make your own games, and you can change the layout, like have it spooky and all yeah. sorts of crazy different things. The one thing I would have wished that they would have done, mm -hmm. it, seem, it seems weird because it's like, oh, go into edit mode, you can zoom out and zoom in. It would have been kind of cool if you were able to do like what we like doing. Oh, we can build blocks. So what if we build a block going up this way and they put some sort of Easter egg in there? Yeah, that would have been cool. And maybe they have one, and maybe there is some. Maybe we it's found. just so hard to find because it's like <laughs> like a million light years out there. Yeah, we did find those weird little blocks. Yeah. But they didn't do anything. Yeah. Might be like, oh, it's his 82nd birthday, so you have to go out there for 80 seconds. <laughs> 82 seconds, and then you'll find it. It's like, I don't I don't know. Probably not. So the amount of time it actually takes to play this thing, mm -hmm. uh, I think if you want to fully beat the games, it shouldn't take very long. Maybe an hour. Uh, yeah. Maybe an hour, hour and a half if you're really taking your time and really fooling around. And yeah. Yeah. You know, doing that but you can enjoying just, it yeah enjoying it, it took us like, almost two hours to do yeah, this we were dinking around quite a bit yeah dinking around and enjoying goofing it. off looking for things yeah yeah so you can go and fool around and like i said go and create your own games and stuff like that too yeah. so there is like hours and hours and hours yeah. of uh, play time with this huh and now uh, for the price, because <laughs> that's what we always do. We play the games, and we talk about how much we, how much they're worth. How and much we, did it cost, Janet? Yeah. Jake? So how much it's worth, and do we think it's worth the price? Yeah. So um, looking it up, uh, it looks like this game was free. So yeah, apparently. From, it, do you think that was worth the? Unless price you want to, um, I guess it depends. 
Yeah. It could be free, mm-hmm. or it could also be like $2,000, because you could buy a $2,000 laptop oh, to right. play you the game. Oh, right, you to buy the computer. <laughs> yeah, the whole console. No, I think, yeah, I think for free, I think that was a great <clears throat> game. Yeah, and that's what I've always talked about before when it comes to like comparing prices for video mm-hmm. games. Like, um, I don't know, like Cyberpunk 2077. It's like, okay, how much is that? It's like 60 bucks new. Is it worth it? It's like, well, yeah, with all this and that. But we talk about that with older games, like an old Nintendo game. Oh, is it worth the 20 to 30 bucks? Mm-hmm. It's like, well, that's the problem. You can get more gameplay out of a game like this yeah. for free. Yeah. In comparison to like a twenty dollar game, mm-hmm. it's like yes, we get it for a collecting standpoint, but it's like this—you get it for free and look at all the gameplay we had with it. Yeah, tons. Yeah, it was—it's a lot of replayability and a, a game like this. I would expect a developer to be because I don't know. There, there's quite a bit of work that had to go into this, but I would expect them to at least charge a dollar a pop, you know, yeah. on like Steam or something like that. But this is like it's all HTML5 based and I guess probably JavaScript too, but. Um, that is, however, one of the only problems I will say about something like this. Yeah. Will this game last forever? Or are will they just going to delete it? Yeah. Is it going to get deleted? Will you be able to download this game and keep it mm-hmm. and, like, store it away, like, archive it, and then always come back to it? Like a Nintendo game. Like, oh, I, I want to play, uh, you know, I want to play Ninja Gaiden. You always have that game. You yeah. You can always put the game in and play it. But because it's HTML-based, because it's on Google, are they like, oh, get rid of it now yeah like oh we don't need that the article's gone that that site is just done <clears throat> yeah i don't know or is there someone who can down can you just download it right now i don't i don't know or do you like need the the server side programming yeah i don't know the only other thing i could think of is maybe there's a way you can archive it on archive.org yeah or you know the wayback machine wayback machine maybe yeah. that can get archived in there and you can still go and access it yeah. Well, we should put the link to the game in the description of this uh, video so people can go click and play it. Yeah, I'll have to go and do that. So. Yeah. But otherwise, yeah, that was a Gerald Lawson's 82nd birthday Google Doodle video game. All right. I guess that's what I'm going to call it. Yeah. So a pretty fun game. I yeah. enjoyed it for what it was, especially was being free. Yeah. And just something that popped up one day. It's like, oh, what's this? Holy cow, it's a video game? Uh-huh. That's pretty sweet. So, yeah, I guess with that being said, we're going to skedaddle. So whatever, I'm Janitor Jake. And I'm Chris K. And we will see you guys next time.